Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Genghis Khan. I'm going to take three fingers in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot going towards the left, I'm going to draw a slightly curved line. Come back to the dot, draw a slightly curved line down on the right. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a straight line down, curved line over, and stop. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw a straight line down, curve line over, connect. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a curve line out, curve line in, connect. On the right hand side, curve line out, curve line in, connect. I come inside my space and I draw one slightly curved line on the left one slightly curved line on the right. Come back to the left. I'm going to draw a curved line down, up, connect on the left, curved line down, up, connect on the right. I come inside the space and I draw a slightly curved line on the left, slightly curved line on the right. Come back to the left. I'm going to mimic the top line that I just drew. So it's a slightly straight curved line, connect. And above that, on the left, I do a straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal up, straight diagonal down on the right. I come right in the center and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line down and over. I put a curved line on the left and a curved line on the right. Right underneath this section I draw a curved line out, swoop, curve line in, connect on the left, do a curve line out, swoop, curve line in, connect. Right underneath I put a slightly curved line and right underneath there, I'm going to draw straight line, straight diagonal down, straight diagonal up, connect. Okay. I come back to the left hand side and starting right here, I'm just going to draw a straight line down, curve line up, down, up, and over. Come on the right hand side, straight line down, in, Curve line in, down, connect. Come back up here on the left. I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out, in, out, in, out, off the page. Come on the right hand side, straight diagonal down, in, out, in, out, off the page. Now, I come back over here on the left. And I'm going to start right about here and draw a wavy, 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 wavy line all the way down and connect. Come up to the very top and we're going to draw a curved line up, curved line down, connect. And on top of that, little curved line up, down, connect. Come on the left hand side and we're going to draw a curved line out on the left. Come on the right hand side, curve line out on the right. Come inside if you have room and right about here let's draw straight diagonal down, straight diagonal down on the left and the right. Come over here on the far left and draw one curved line, two curved lines, three curved lines down. Come on the right hand side one curved line, two curved line, three curved lines down. Okay? I think that's all. Right here, let's do a little zigzag connect on the left and a zigzag connect on the right. I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. 
Okay, I did a lot of triple colors on this because his hair, this is his beard. Let's work on his beard first. You can see what I'm talking about. First, I did a light gray, okay? Then I came up, and this is his mustache. I did another light gray on here, and this little patch is also gray. But he also had some gray in his hair. This is his hair. So I'm just going to put some straight lines of gray. Because you always work light to dark. Okay. So we'll just put some of that gray there. And then I think I came up and gave him a little bit of gray on his eyebrows. Okay. Not too much. Then I came in with my brown. And on his hair I added more straight lines of color and on his beard I lightly loop-de-looped -looped a little bit of brown in his beard okay I added just a couple of lines of brown on his mustache and on his little patch right there because then the last thing I did was I came in with black and I basically triple colored his hair triple colored and you'll do a better job than me his mustache his little soul patch and then lightly went over his beard so just on that section alone you've got three colors going now if you don't have gray you can use your black lightly if you don't have brown just use your black but if you can triple color this guy he looks pretty fabulous. Now I take my black and I color in this section of his eyeballs so I can see where I'm looking. Okay, so that's black. Alright. Now I went through and found kind of a darker tan color in my crayon bag. So I did his face color this tan color. Now if you don't have tan Again, you can use your brown lightly. These guys were outside, so they've got a little bit darker skin tone from riding outside all day on their horses. So I gave him this color tan. Then, I went to work on his hat and because I always like a pop of color this is a fur hat I don't have no idea what animal would have red orange fur but I needed color he was looking a little drab so I did orange red orange this very top part is a hide so I did this a beigey pinky beige and then again for a little pop of color I did the top notch up here blue and then he's wearing robes and he's the Emperor so this I did brown 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 then I brought in some purple purple could do this little part purple 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 and then <clears throat> this little inset I did red you know he's royalty so you want his robes to look pretty luxurious okay then I took my black crayon and I just filled in the background with my black stripes you know he would have been in a tent okay let's see what this looks like all colored in okay here's Genghis Khan all colored in the universal ruler of the Mongol Empire in 1206 the nomadic people horses and yurts and he basically took over the world pretty amazing guy okay bye bye